think, honestly, I was relying on you. What? Hello, Mr. Gibb. Welcome. Ashwin Kumar. Come in, come in, come in. This is my wife and her uh, hair. This is my mother. Nice to meet you. And this is my son, Sanjeev. Oh, Sanjeev Kumar. Hello, nice well, I'm, the, I'm the host of, of the show. So, sorry about the disruption. Yeah. Have you met Jane Ritchie? How are you? Nice to see you. Are you all right? We had a little bit of an accident in the toilet. Oh. Yes. Well, it was more of a tragedy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You yeah, yeah, the, the flush broke and then there was a chain reaction. Oh, I'm in, I'm in. You see what I'm doing? Yes. Do you? Right. I'm in. Yeah. Leave it. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Shane Ritchie still hasn't gone. Um, <laughs> now, Pop is littered with great trios. Uh, Cream, The Police, Jam, Boney M, if you don't count the bloke. But my, uh, my next guest is part of one of the most successful trios ever in the history of everything. Please welcome Robin Gibb for the Bee Gees! <laughs> Welcome, Robin. Thank you very much. I, I, I can't believe I'm sitting with an actual Bee Gees. Yeah, yeah, Thank you. I mean, you are like musical royalty. Don't nice you? you say that. I mean, it's, uh, but uh, I just feel like you know, Robin Gibb. Oh, uh, it's, it's so modest, isn't it? Very modest. So, uh, so nice I do want to uh, talk about your new album, uh, right. but on the way to new album, uh, I do want to bring uh, viewers up to speed right. uh, with the story of Robin Gibb and oh, the right. Bee Gees. Yeah. So, so I've got a plan yep. and a structure. So yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Robin, right. Robin, yes, of course, darling, it's much more fun over this yeah. side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, we haven't really had many legends on this show, but mm. you really are a legend, you well, that's know. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. You know, Mr. Ritchie is a legend too. What? Okay. His nickname is the legend, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a nickname. That Shane, did you yeah. say? So we've done you. Oh, no, no. Let's get doing again. Exactly, exactly. Well, maybe after the show. Um, but, uh, now, that, as you can see, I, I do have some kind of creative tension working with my uh, family. I understand. Uh, do you, do you, thank you. Yeah, that's very understanding. Right. Uh, do you ever uh, have kind of creative tension working yeah, with your brothers? Yeah, I think that's a natural thing. Even if you're not brothers, you're going to have creative tension. You know? No, develop. no, no. There are no disagreements. When it comes down to it, I have the final say on everything. <laughs> yeah, well, so it, 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 is Barry like that? Uh, no, actually, because he's the older brother, yeah. everybody thinks assumes that he's the, the, the boss, but it's, a, it's actually, you know, even the, the, uh, one of us can, can be the boss at different times. What? Because um, you, you're one of a twin, isn't yeah. it? And are you, are you the older twin? I'm the older twin, yeah. So, I came out first. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you thought that Sanjeev was a twin before he came out, and then we just found out he was a huge fat baby. <laughs> Yes. Barry's hair is nicer than Ashwin's. Yes, and he's got more of it as well. Possibly. That's a major difference. But that's just a different style, though, isn't it, he's wearing? Thank you. You're bonding, aren't you? You're, you're, I'm bonding. You're... It's a quality moment. <laughs> <laughs> you need some collaboration in this house. Yes. Uh, Robin, if I, if I could return to my plan. Yeah, sure, go on. Yeah. Right, uh, and start at the very beginning. Right. Now, you were born Robin Hugh Gibb, isn't it? That's right. I was. Okay, excellent. On the 22nd of December? That's in right. In the Isle of Man? In the Isle of oh, Man. Oh, the yeah. Isle of Man is yeah. lovely. It's beautiful. Yeah. 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 It's a very nice yeah. place. What an adventure, born on the Isle of Man. Ah, yeah. 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 What are your favourite spots in the Isle of Man? Uh, I, I like Laxey and Ramsey and, and Peel, Peel Castle. Yeah. And of course Mount Snaefell. Do you know Balaf Bridge? No, I don't. Is that where the fairies are? No, no, it's this humpback bridge that goes the wrong way. Ah, right. That's well, where does it go? But as, as, I don't think you wrote any songs whilst riding around the humpback bridge. No. Um, we can leave that. Uh, as you did leave the Isle of Man in yes. 1956. I heard that on the Isle of Man, if you commit a crime, they can hit you with a twig. It's called Is the that true? You're thinking of the birch. Ah. Uh, that's it, that's stopped. it. In Singapore, they hit you with a bamboo. Yeah. But on the Isle of Man, they hit you with a birch. That's right. Isn't it, Jane? Apparently, yeah. Apparently so. <laughs> so, Robin, um, have you ever been birched by the Manx authorities? Not recently. Not recently. <laughs> but I've been threatened a few times. Right. Oh. Uh, and, and what about you, Shane? Have you ever been birched? I can't believe oh. no one's ever been tempted. Never around the Manx. Never around the Manx. Have you ever been birched, period? <laughs> I've been slept about a few times, that's what you're trying to say. Yeah, but you paid for that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's getting late, and all, Sorry? We've, we're all, we're all we've established is, oh, yeah. is that you've been born. That's um, it, yeah. anyway, so you, you left the Isle of Man, and then in uh, 1958, is it you emigrated to Australia? Yeah. Oh, Australia's Australia. a lovely oh, place. Love From the Isle of Man to Australia. Yeah. What a journey. Oh. Yeah, okay, we're not, we're, not, we're not doing that again. We just did that. Uh, now, uh, Robin, it was, was it in, in Sydney you played your first major gig? That's right. Um, well, tell us about that work. Well, it was actually with uh, Chubby Checker, the guy who did the twist, and, uh, wow. and we were sort of right uh, on the end with him because that, the record company that signed us wanted us to be on with a, a big star at that particular time. And we were on with him, and that's when we got our first recording contract. And where Sydney, was that then? Where Sydney Stadium. Well, when you did your first gig, Robin, did, did you see before, during or after the, the Sydney Opera House? No, I actually watched it being built. Did you? Yeah. Oh, there are so many wonderful sites in Australia. The yeah. Great Barrier Reef and, and, and Ayers Rock. Which Ayers. is your favourite? Um, I think uh, probably Ayers Rock would be my favourite yes. near Alice Springs. Yes, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. What about my brother and his wife? Ah, oh, yes, Anil and Manju. Mm. They live in Sydney. Yes. Anil yeah. is my second eldest. He's a dentist, very successful. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, when you're next there, Robin, you must go and I'm see them. Say hello to They're you. a magnificent yes. sight. Yeah. Uh, on a clear day, you can see all the way to Tasmania from the top of Auntie Manju's head. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sorry about that. It's all right. No, yeah, now, if I might return to your career in England yes. well, and, and move back from Australia, right, Australia. Yeah. Yes, Dad. I have a question about England. All right. Mr. Gibb, why do Australians call the English people pommies? Ah, it's initials. P O M E, prisoners of Mother England. Oh, oh Lenny. Lenny. Yeah. extraordinary. But um, isn't it French for apple? <laughs> for what? Oh, yes, well, that, that as well. Uh, you know, well, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. Why, why would you call people after a fruit? <laughs> Think about it. Americans call English limeys because they ate limes on the boats going over. Shane, you've been to America, yes, isn't it yes. true? Yeah, no, it's true, yeah. They had limes. It's because yes. of the vitamin C content. For, for sc against scurvy. Sorry, Robin, would you, would you like a magazine or something? But you know, <laughs> Well, actually, Robin has yeah. been to America many, many times, haven't That's you, true. darling? Yes. Mr. Gibb? Yes. Who do you fly with? Who do I fly with? Oh, the American, British Airways. What's the legroom like in economy? Oh, oh honestly. Don't ask Robin Gibb what the legroom is like in economy. He's a superstar. He goes first class. Shane, what's the legroom like in economy? <laughs> Very small, very small, yeah. Listen, look, I'm serious. We're, we're only right. up to 1958. Now, Robin, we're going to talk about your music, yeah, which right. is just fantastic. Oh, I have a question about yes. your music, oh. Robin Sweetheart. Yes. Um, how did you, the Bee Gees, develop your very distinctive singing style? Well, we don't know because we just started singing together naturally. You know, mm. we would, we just from little kids, so we didn't really work conscious of actual singing style or sound that, that we actually adopted. It just became. Uh, just part of us. Yes, flow. Just evolved on its own. But what, but what, what fascinates me is that uh, you can you can do the high singing, right, and you can do the middle singing. Yeah. Did you ever experiment with low singing? Yes. <laughs> yes. Ro Robin, would yes, you like to have some conversation with the grown-ups now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people who've got it on to your songs. I know oh. some of them personally, actually. Oh. Now, it must be a wonderful feeling to know that your music has inspired so many romances. I hope so. Yeah. What advice have you got for a man who knows nothing about how to keep a woman happy? Um, I think he's got to start bearing his soul a little bit more. His soul? Definitely just his soul, yeah. Okay, just to check me out. <laughs> I expect Robin always compliments a lady on her hair. I expect Robin is a very busy man with a lot of paperwork who doesn't always look at his wife's hair, aren't you, oh, Mr. Yeah. Gibbs? It's, it's paper everywhere. I mean, romance has its place. <laughs> yes. But when you've got to arrange to have the toilet fixed after the show is finished, you know, it, it changes things. <laughs> yes, well, that's where... Which should come first, Robin? Oh, I think art has to compromise with reality somewhere because there's always reality to deal with after art. Do you know something? On paper, this is such a great interview. You know, the, the 60s, On the paper, disco, yeah, the writing, uh, the producing. Uh, we can talk about any of that stuff. But we're not. <laughs> not so far. I've got yeah. mum. Ah. You live in a castle, don't you? Well, it's a converted monastery, actually. Oh. But, you're, but it's close. I mean, some people probably would discuss It's a thousand years old. Wow. That must oh. cost a fortune to eat. It does. <laughs> But then you appreciate the problem, don't you? I, I believe, I remember reading somewhere that you've got a couple of ghosts there. Yeah, we've got, oh, and, a, and a font that fills up on its own with water every few weeks. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you sure that's not the plumbing as well? It could be the plumbing. <laughs> I've had it all checked. Can't find anything else that it could be. 
You know, if this, if this had gone to plan, uh, we'd be asking about your latest album. That's all right. right now, you know, is there any chance of that? I have a ghost story. Oh. Go. <laughs> I was staying in a castle once. It, it wasn't actually a castle, but it was a house in the style of a castle. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Shane Ritchie is still listening, and I think Mr. Gibb is very interested, aren't you, Mr. Gibb? You have my attention. Okay. <laughs> I was awoken from a restless sleep at about 4 a.m., Perhaps a little earlier. And I could see a misty figure hovering at the end of my bed. It was in the shape of a woman. And it was about five foot high. No, maybe slightly taller. Maybe five foot two. And I thought, this is impossible. The only woman in the room is Marjorie. Then I saw it was Marjorie. <laughs> She was getting a glass of water. Uh, <laughs> the Has he finished? Yes. Robin, can you can you top that? <laughs> this is this is all very exciting stuff. It's all I mean that's that's an amazing story. <laughs> Robin, please don't encourage him. We have to live with him. I know. You leave at the end of the day. Uh, now, fine. Can we move on to your solo album? Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Um, what's it called? It's called uh, Magnet. Sanjeev. And, uh, <laughs> Sorry, Robin, we're out of time. Oh, it's, I'm sorry, but uh, will you come I'd, back and talk that. about it or something? I'd love to. Yes, please yeah, that, that come back. Fantastic. Yeah, Thank please. you very much, Robin Gibb! <laughs> and Shane Ritchie! I don't know, Robin. Maybe we just expect too much. I mean, what is it, Robin? What is the secret of what? keeping a woman happy, huh? Robin? Tell that secret to Madhuri. Oh, Robin, I'll try and say I'll, something. I'll try, I'll try. <laughs> I've been having a talk with Shane Ritchie and he's put me right about a few things. I do spend too much time talking to Bruce Forsyth. <laughs> From now on, things are going to be different. I'm going to spend much more time with you. I'm going to be a better husband. Oh, stop it, Ashri. You had me at Bruce Forsyth. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your advice. Yeah, my pleasure, my pleasure. Listen, it's been a pleasure having you. Yeah, thank you very much. Don't worry about all of this. Oh, my God. I don't want you to think for a minute about waving your feet. Oh, yeah. Accidents will happen, mate. Yeah, I know. We were going to get a new toilet anyway. And a new carpet. Right. And <laughs> wallpaper. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You know, I feel bad about Mr. Gibb not being able to use the bathroom. Oh, he'll be fine. Don't worry. Not on the roses, Mr. Gibb. <laughs> <laughs>